adding alternative dimension units. Besides the main dimension uh, units such as US customary, we can add in such as metric. So if you are designing a building that would be built in both measurement systems, then you want to go into an alter the dimension style so that it has both uh, dimension units showing. To do so, we're going to go up to annotate and we're going to hit the down arrow where it has dimension. And we have each type of, of dimension. So I'm going to go to my linear dimension type. So right now we are in the linear 332nd aerial is my dimension style. Uh, I could change things in here, but I don't like to do that. Remember, I always want to duplicate the item. And then I want to give it, instead of saying number two, I'm going to say dash, and I'm going to say alternate, alternate units. Okay, I'll say OK. So now I have um, a new type in here. I go down in my type parameters and uh, I come down here it says alternate units and I come across and it says none and I go in here and I said do I want it to the right or do I want it below I prefer it below uh, when I was in metal fabrication I I liked it below and I think most p builders like it below uh, so then we have then the format and so here we have it in millimeters, which is typically what we want. So then I'm going to say OK. Now that I have set it up, now I'm going to go up to my linear and I'm going to come down here and pick my type. And when I come into my type, I find that I have an alternate units type. Now I'm going to come over here and uh, I'm going to say pick on the end of this little blue dot right and I'm gonna come over here and say pick on the end of this little blue dot right there now I'll zoom back out a little bit and I'm gonna place it I'll place it up here so everybody can see well okay now I get it places it in US customary uh, which is feet and inches and then down here it has it in millimeters okay so that way, whoever's building it can build it to the correct uh, type of units.